and you subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're after 3,000 subscribers. Let me know when we get it. Are you live on Scotty's phone in? Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's Daniel. Daniel, Hi. lovely to hear you. Dinky-doo. Dinky-doo, yes. Uh, well, I wasn't going to come on and talk about politics, but I just had to mention what Kareem was speaking about at the start there about the, the Labour government in 1997. Yes, do, do. Yes, I mean, I think it was one of the most progressive governments this country has ever had. I mean, uh, Tony Blair and Gordon Brown. Yes. Yes, they well, were absolutely you know, outstanding. Yes, I mean, apart from the, the uh, Iraq war. The Iraq war was the big yeah. downfall, but I think they really felt they had to follow America to keep the special yeah. relationship going. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then that yeah. that really blew up the whole of the Middle East. I'm sure they could have had a word with Saddam, and it turned out, am I not right in saying, they didn't have the WMDs? No, in the end, it turned out that they, they didn't. So they went in on false information. And I also didn't like the way they broke the BBC's will. Oh, what was that? I didn't, I didn't well, know well, that. what was happening was there were journalists at the BBC, of course, telling the truth as the BBC used to do all the time. And they were investigating the WMDs and Downing Street shut them down because, you see, there's been um, always a bit of pressure right from the start of the BBC about who actually had the ultimate say. And John Reith used to yeah. fight Churchill. John Reith and Churchill despised each other to the end, to the extent that poor Lady Churchill, a eh, poor Lady Reith, never got to Churchill's funeral because John Reith wouldn't let her go, because they had tickets and they refused to attend, which I thought was a little bit narrow at the end. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, John Reith was a remarkable man. He was a wonderful man, but he was a dreadful husband and father, and he was psychologically flawed. Mm. You know? Yeah. And uh, was it not uh, David Kelly that was mysteriously kind of... Dr. Kelly um, died in, in un unusual circumstances. Yes. You know? Yeah, yeah. and they said he, was, he, he kind of had some information on the... On the, on the alleged report. Yes, yeah, so the, all uh, that, that whole episode was a bit murky and really didn't bode very well for the Labour government. Yeah, but I mean, apart from that... I Although, having said that, I was thinking, would you like Tony Blair back as